Hello everyone, this is Al Gareth from Crapfire Gamers. Today I'm following up on a comment we received on the Minecraft split screen joypad mod video and the question was how do I use a regular controller with Minecraft using this process? So that's what we're going to be covering. Uh, we're using the Logitech Dual Action Gamepad and the X360CE application to achieve this, so here we go. So let's get right into it here. Uh, first things first, plug in whatever controller uh, you're going to be using today. And to make sure it shows up, you can always go to your start menu, type in controllers, and you've got this setup USB game controllers option, and that's what's opened here. For for my computer, I have an Xbox 360 um, application that makes my PS3 controller turn into an Xbox 360 controller. That's a whole different video, but for this, for the purposes here, we're using the Logitech Dual Action Gamepad. So as you can see, I'm moving moving my uh, uh, cursor here, and it's it's working since I have Steam open. It actually acts like a mouse, so I can move the mouse around, and you can see it it's uh, triggering those z-axis rotations. So, on to the next step, now that we've gone through that. Here is the controller I'm using, and once you get everything downloaded, you're going to have these two zip files with only a single file in the zip file, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, I have the tab open here, and these links will be down in the description. This is their website, x360ce.com. They have quite a bit of documentation here. P they talk about what controllers are in use. Um, as you can see, they've been around for quite a while, for, since 2011. I remember seeing this a long time ago, but it was pretty, uh, pretty bad at that point. Then you have to have these system requirements, these prerequisites. Most games, uh, you'd already have this installed anyhow, and it comes with Windows 10 for, for .NET 4.6, and then this one, uh, you probably will have to turn it on through your Windows features. Not going to cover that today, but it's pretty straightforward, and it lays it out right here for you. The next step is to actually download it. Here at the top of the screen you've got the 32-bit download link and the 64-bit download link and you can go ahead and click those now and it'll download these zip files. Pretty small, um, shouldn't take long and they do have some text instructions down here um, that we were looking at earlier but mainly we're going to have these files whenever we drop in the, the executable files into the Minecraft folder. So for this tutorial, I um, actually deleted these files from my Minecraft installation fo folder and it still works. So it seems to be almost permanent after you put these files in place. So that has pros and cons, I guess. Um, but just as a side note, if you do this, it seems to work past that point if you, just, if you choose to uninstall it. I already have the installation folder open for this tutorial, so as you can see, it's it's in the program files. So if you're uh, if you're set up the same way I am, which is this this is just the standard install um, for the new Minecraft launcher with Microsoft. It's C program files. If you have a 64-bit computer, it has this x86, and then Minecraft at the end, and then you just drop this file right in there. So I just dragged and dropped it. You can extract it if you like. And we're halfway there. This is going to be a pretty short video. So you right click this file, run as admin, get the prompt, yes. It loads up here. So this error message is saying that it doesn't have this required DLL file, so you just click create. Here you can see I and I and it created that DLL. What's nice about this program is it pulls in profiles that other people have made, so 
Minecraft is a pretty popular application, obviously. So we're going to search. Boom. It's got this Minecraft launcher.execute where it actually kind of straps itself on top of it to load into Minecraft. So we did a finish. We're just concerned about this first controller. So from what I read, clicking auto will actually map it correctly. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, we'll, we'll click it here, see what happens. Yeah, pretty much the same mapping. Then you just hit save. So before you open the application, the, uh, the people that make this says to, to close the application before starting the game. Not sure if that's required, but uh, for my testing, it seems to be useful. So we just, we've just we got a ton of options here. So if you wanted to customize your mapping to the nth degree, you can go in here, remap your buttons. But by default, it's set up pretty straightforward. So like button 4 is at the top, and it auto mapped to Y because of that profile. So we just hit save, close this out, all right go on to the next step. Alright, we're back here. I um, actually kind of changed course a little bit uh, in the, while making this video. I noticed that Steam was kind of interfering with Minecraft uh, since it was using its desktop mode um, to make the controller control the mouse. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, really quick how to turn that off if you have kind of poked around in Steam. One way which worked for me was to just close Steam, so that's one, one option. But if you use Steam regularly and you don't want to close it or you launch Minecraft from Steam, you can go into your settings in Steam and your general controller settings here. And for me, I'd actually turned on this generic gamepad configuration support, and that is what enables the mouse control. So if I were to close this, now I have mouse control with my controller, but I'm actually going to turn that off. So now, now I don't have any control with the controller. So that's that's what I want. Um, you do have the option to turn that off for a specific application. So, so this is how to turn it off for a specific application if you didn't want to. Uh, actually turn off that whole setting you can go into steam big picture mode and I'm not sure if you can do this in the regular view you just go into like Minecraft I have it added into steam you go to manage shortcut and then controller configuration since I have it disabled it's not there um, but controller options this is what you would do you'd actually uncheck this allow desktop configuration. If that's checked, it would enable that mouse support. If it's unchecked, it will disable that so it won't interfere with the Minecraft joypad mod. So just an FYI, if you run into that, this is how you fix it. All right, so we're, we're down to the Minecraft portion of the video and here we are at the home screen. I've got my modded forge loaded up if you've watched our joypad mod split screen mod video talking about how to set this up um, you can check that out with this link we're posting in the video or the link below you go to options controls and as you can see i've got a logitech dual action before this um, i only had the default like xbox or x input device i had one through four and now I have one through five. And this is our fifth option. So I'm just going to flip that on. The default mapping is absolutely terrible. Just an FYI. Um, that program is mapped correctly. So for whatever reason, when Minecraft sees this controller, and it may be different for you, it, uh, it maps it completely wrong. Like left click should be like X on your, or if you're using a PS3 controller, it's X. If it's uh, Xbox 360, it would be A. For this, it's button one, I believe. No, button two. 
So it thinks button two is button one. Um, the Z axis is completely messed up, so we want the left stick to be right, and then left on the left stick, up on the left stick, down on the left stick. So you're probably going to have to go through and remap. Right click, we probably want to be circle. And then scroll is actually correct, so um, though on mine it is the equivalent of like L1 and R1 on the PS3 controller, or the left bumper and right bumper on the Xbox 360, or left button and right button. Um, attack and destroy, probably want that to be like R2, You're using a PS3 controller or right bumper, right trigger for, um, yeah, I completely messed up my buttons, but right trigger, left trigger, and then left bumper, right bumper on the Xbox 360. PS3 actually has them numbered. Uh, look through here. We've got drop item. Probably want that to be triangle for uh, PS3 or Y for an Xbox 360. And that's button 4 of my controller. Yeah, it's all all sorts of messed up, but we're gonna we're just gonna save that the way it is. We'll see we'll see what we can get into here. All right, so we're back here. I jumped into uh, Minecraft, and as you can see, it sort of kinda is working. You'll definitely have to play with the mapping. Um, it was completely bonkers on how it was set up. Um, but now I've got my left stick doing my strafe left and right and forward backward and then the right stick is controlling mouse movement and look, or mouse movement is mapped to my left stick but look, left, right, up, down is mapped to my right stick and the sensitivity is insanely high so you can always customize that through this slider here. I'm actually going to turn it down to like 15. There, that's more reasonable. Still really sensitive, but um, you might have a creeper sneak up behind you. This is the Pixelmon mod, so no creepers here, but still uh, ghastly Gengar. You know, they might spook you a little bit. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Just persevere, um, spend a little time on your mapping, and uh, you're going to have a pretty good time with this. So, take care everybody. See ya.